Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using consistent deformation method. In this frame, the columns AB and CD having the same height as 4 meter. The beam BC has the length of 6 meter. In the columns, there is no load. In the beam BC, there is a concentrated load 78 kN. It acts at a distance of 2 meter from B. In the points A and D, there are hinged supports. In this frame, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 4. There are 2 vertical reactions and 2 horizontal reactions. The available equilibrium equations are 3. So the degree of static indeterminacy will be 4 minus 3. So it will be 1. Let us release HD. You can see that I have released HD. To find the vertical reaction VA, let us take a moment about D. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. BA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. So 6 VA. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. For VA, we will get 52 kN. Then by applying this rule, we can find VED. By applying this rule, we can find HA which will be 0. Since we have released only HD, the formula to find HD is minus delta L upon delta. To find both of them, we are going to use unit load method. We need to make sections. Let us keep this point as E. In this frame, there are four different parts. A, B, B, E, E, C and C, D. So we have to make four sections, one in AB, one in PE, one in EC and one in CED. You can see that I have made four sections. This section at a distance of X from A, this section at a distance of X from B, this section at a distance of X from C and this section at a distance of X from D. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members. There are four members A, B, B, E, D, C and C, E. For the section in A, B, the origin is A. For the section in B, E, the origin is B. For the section in D, C, the origin is D. And for the section in C, E, the origin is C. The limit for A, B is 0 to 4. The limit for BE is 0 to 2. The limit for DC is 0 to 4. Limit for CE is 0 to 4. To find the movements in the sections AB and BE, we can use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. Let us take AB. Up to this section, we have only the vertical reaction. It does not have any perpendicular distance, so the movement will be 0. Let us find the movement in PE. Up to this section, we have only the vertical reaction 52. It is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be positive and the distance is x, so 52x. To find the movements in these two sections, we have to use left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the M in DC. Up to this section, we have only this vertical reaction. For this, there is no perpendicular distance, so the moment will be zero. Let us find the moment in CE. Up to this section, we have only the vertical reaction 26. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x so it will be 26x now we need to remove all of the loads from the frame and we have to apply unit load in the direction of hd 
by taking moment about d we can find va which is 0 then by applying this rule we can find vd which is also 0 by applying this rule we can find ha let us find the moment m in a b ha is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x 1 into x it will be x let us find m in b e ha is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4 1 into 4 it will be 4 now let us find the moment in dc the unit load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x 1 into x it will be x let us find the moment in ce the unit load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive and this distance is 4 1 into 4 it will be 4 using this formula we can find delta l and by using this formula we can find delta we have found delta l and delta in this formula let us apply both of them for hd we will get minus 9 that means the assumed direction is incorrect we assumed that HD would be acting towards the right side but actually it is acting towards the left side. Now let us take the original frame. We have found HD. It is acting towards the left side. In this frame there is no horizontal load. So the values of HD and HA will be same but the directions will be different. HD is acting towards the left side, so HEA should be acting towards the right side. We know that the columns AB and CD having the same height 4 meter, so the vertical reactions which we calculated previously will remain same. Now we can draw the free body diagram. Using that we can find the shear force values. These are the shear force values in the column AB. These are the shear force values in the beam BC. These are the shear force values in the column CD. This is the shear force diagram. Using the right hand side rule, we can find the moments at A, B and E. Then using the left hand side rule, we can find the moments at D and C. This is the bending moment diagram. Suppose if we draw the bending moment diagram in the opposite side, that is called the bending moment diagram on the tension side. This is the bending moment diagram by superposition method. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.